has gone mobile, but power hasn't gone mobile. Our devices are becoming more and more power hungry. They have colour screens, MP3, cameras, but the battery technology can only increase at 5% a year, whereas the rest of technology is increasing like this. And so there's this discrepancy called the power gap between the two. And so what we've done is filled the gap with that with a renewable source of portable energy. This is a Solio which is a hybrid charger. You can, via a cable here, plug this into the wall and power the internal battery, or via these three solar panels, you can plug into the sun. With the suction cup, you would just basically attach that. Obviously, that would need to be a window. The car windshield, or to the window, the sunniest window in a house, assuming that is glass, and assuming the glass is clean, you're going to be able to charge your product. To see how much charge you have, you just press this button here, and each flash tells you the 25% full. Whoops. Just to show how rugged the product is, it fell down from a meter and a half and uh, it didn't break. The other way you can do it that we designed, instead of creating a stand out of some polycarbonate or plastic, we decided what can we use, that a household object that people can use to, to angle the solio. So we figured a pencil. We would just basically put the pencil through here and depending on the latitude that you're at, to show that you're exactly perpendicular to the sun, to receive the most efficiency, you would look to make sure that there are no shadows that the pencil is forming, like a sundial. If there's a shadow, you know you're not facing exactly to the sun. To get to the point, to charge your actual device, all we have to do is attach a cable. We have a tip system. Depending on the device that you have, you would change the tip. We have a range of tips. This is the old Nokia tip. This is a mini USB tip here. So basically, this is uh, the latest iPhone, and we have a dedicated cable specifically for the iPhone as well. You would attach this cable here, attach this to your iPhone, and then I would hit the LED, and then it would charge Inside here, we have intelligent circuitry. It has like a brain. And so it will read a device that's attached. So we'll, and now it's going to read. It's going to say, OK, I have an iPhone attached. And it needs this much voltage. It needs this much power. And it's charging. But as you can see, that this is doing an intermittent flash, which means that it's giving power to this. Read once it stops charging, your phone will stop drawing power, and everything switches off. We have an internal battery inside here, a lithium ion battery. It's a 1650 milliamp hour battery. It stores power. So if you've had it in the sun for a typical one hour of sunlight, will give you one hour of music time on your iPod, or 30 minutes of sunlight will give you roughly 10 minutes talk time, four hours standby time. So depending on the device you have, depending on how much sunlight, now that power will last for up to a year within the battery. But what we've also done when we designed the product, it can be taken apart. You can take these screws off so you can separate the plastic, so you can separate the battery, the battery's replaceable, that each part can be recycled. This is the H1000. We have a built-in carabiner, which makes it easier for people to just attach to their belts or their backpacks. Well, obviously, if you're walking facing the sun, it would just get the sun. If you're walking with the back to the sun, you can move it to the back. But the idea is that you can attach it to your backpacks or to your pocket or wherever you want to. And it can charge cell phones, PDAs, iPods, GPS systems, any small handheld device. And the Solio will always give you backup for communication, which is great for emergency situations or whatever you need. So a lot of people don't think that there's a problem with their portable energy. They just run out of power and they think, OK, well, I need to find a plug socket, whereas we have a solution for that.